All right, guys. So today we're starting a brand new show called Squid Games. I've, I've never seen it. Ms. Not have you seen it? Nope. You know anything about it? It's a K-drama series, and we have had one K-drama on the channel before, which was Train to Busan. And that movie was actually really good. It was one of my favorite movies and one of our favorite thumbnails, to be yes. honest. It just made for such a good a good project. And I thought it was a really good movie. Uh, Mrs. October cried in it. Go check it out. And I didn't just cry. I, like, boohooed. It was really sad. Really it sad. really was. Um, but this is Squid Games. I, I don't know anything about it. I know that Mr. Beast has a video called Mr. Beast Squid Games or something like that because it has a ton of views and I've heard people talk about it. And it's popped up on my YouTube. But I don't watch Mr. Beast, so I never click the video. So a new season of this comes out, I think, late December. So if you guys are really into this right here, if you guys just like the video and show us that you guys want to watch it, we'll definitely drop everything we're doing. And as soon as the new season comes out, we'll hop on it and we'll knock it out. So we also post these over on Patreon, uncut, unedited, and you don't have to sync it or anything like that if you guys want to see the full length reactions. I'm really excited to watch it. Yep. Don't we want to mention something about the subtitles? Oh, yeah. Everyone said that we should leave it in the original language, which is Korean. We should not watch the English dubbed version. So we do have the subtitles on because obviously I don't speak Korean. <laughs> uh, she might look like she speaks Korean, but she doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't. And we're ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, Squid Game, episode one, Red Light, Green Light, a Netflix series. Look at all that stuff. Holy, what y'all got us watching? Oh. Oh-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-my-
때문에 좋은 말을 데리고 아주 또쌀이 아, 거기 빨리 좀 합시다 좀. 해봐요. 아, 당신 댄스 선수야. 가만히 내버려 둬. 생각 좀 하게. 그 뒤로 구박 백일 신화 주인권의 자리 없습니다. Man, it'd be hard for me to get me to bet on horses because they all look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would pick the one with the cutest ponytail. I hope that means they won a lot. 456만원입니다. Oh, wow. Americano and Sadden. Yeah, I'm going to put it on. Havana, put the pedal back there. What chicken? Bucky Spungo is my Tajona. He's like a kid when they get their tax money back or something. Oh, he called his daughter and said, What do you want? And she said, Fried chicken. Yeah, Loan shark. Up to Sarah. <laughs> this guy's acting is pretty phenomenal though yeah. so far. I'm loving it. He has like a goofy vibe to him. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> what? That's a big lump. Oh, that kid got rich. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, how much is four million in like American currency for a reference point? No. Ah. They still seem so nice though. <laughs> I'll take one kidney. And your okay. eyes. That's a blood oath. That means you gotta do it. Yeah, he just signed with the devil. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this guy's a straight asshole, dude. Is that not the vibe you're getting? He's just a terrible person. Like, why wouldn't you just get her like a like something from the store or something? Because he's just addicted to gambling, I guess. <laughs> that girl jumped. <laughs> Why don't you just hire him? Yeah, let him get it. That's like your cousin. Yeah, my cousin was an arcade legend. <laughs> there was a magic card. I had wanted the magic card. Oh, that's did he know? Did he open it before? They got that out of the arcade machine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was getting blasted in the face. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Man, how could that little girl not force you to get your stuff together? I know she's adorable, right? Mm -hmm. 
내려. 네 엘리베이터까지 업고 갈게. 아, 참. He kind of had a workout. He's got those strong calves. 아빠 안녕. 어 들어가 들어가. Wait, did he play that game where you jump around on him? Yeah, probably. Oh no, not a train. <laughs> right. Hey, that's the train to Busan guy right there. Let's go. He's really good. He was a good actor. It's ironic he walked up by a train. <laughs> Easter eggs. Nope. <laughs> I would have been scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, money's involved. Wait, can you pause that for one second? I just don't want to be doing this without having a perspective of what this is. How much is a million? No, I want to look up a hundred thousand. Okay, so a hundred thousand ones is seventy four dollars and eleven cents in the U.S. Okay. So each round we would get that much. Seventy four dollars. Okay. 10만 원을 준다고? 반대로 제가 이기면 저에게 10만 원을 주시면 됩니다. 성공을 양보하겠습니다. 어떤 컬러로 하시겠습니까? I would choose red. I would choose blue. But why did they pick him? Oh, that was nice. I think. He used to hit it too. Mm -hmm. Watch. He flipped Dang. it. You see oh, that? you have to flip it. Oh. 그럼 몸으로 떼우시면 됩니다. 몸으로? 너 이렇게 뭐야? 야만데 10만 원 까드립니다. 한판 더해. Yeah, I play again. He's like kind of like a gambling junkie though. Because I wouldn't just be playing games with a guy in a business suit. <laughs> God. <laughs> And that guy's like a professional. He does this all day. Can you switch cheeks? No. Does the double flip count? Let's go. He changed it. That means he just like finally won after all them slaps. <laughs> <laughs> That was sinister. This man's so rich that he can afford to just walk around and basically slap people. It's kind of dark. 선생님, 이런 거 며칠만 하시면 큰 돈을 벌수 있습니다. 이거 신종 피라미드 뭐 그런 거지? Oh, they got pyramid schemes there too. Those have been around since the Egyptian times. <laughs> I think of those like Avon and stuff. 성현 씨, 오늘 신체 포기 각서 쓰셨죠? 사체 1억 6천. So he sought him out, Loki. Yes. 누구야? 너 뭔데 내 뒷조사를 해? 빈자리가 얼마 안 남았습니다. 연락 주십시오. He said he signed his body away. Yeah, when he did that little, he signed away his physical rights or something. That must have been he. They must work with like those loan shark people or whatever. They probably work to get people in debt with them. Yeah, to go get them to go wherever right. that guy's working. Man, just keep the money, man. You owe it. I want to feel sorry for him, but I'm starting to think he's just kind of ditzy. The way he was throwing a tantrum with his mama. Well, that was kind of. And he told her to keep the change, and she still he still owed her two thousand more one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna give the cat a fish. Jackpot for that cat, man. <laughs> he's just counting his cash. Oh my God, that's a pado. He has a reputation. She's like, did you sign with Dana White? <laughs> He's kind of not lying about that. 
가영이. 가영도 사 두고. 가영이가 니한테 할 말이 없더나. 무슨 말? 가영이 지금 어메랑 미국으로 간다 하더라. 오. 내년 생일에는 진짜 좋은 선물을 사줄게. 내년? 아. 어... 미국? 미국으로 직장을 옮겨가 미국으로 들어간다 대. 그래? So he doesn't even get a little say. 누가 아는 찾아야 할 거야 이거. 보장 찍을 때 벌써 얘기 다 끝난 건데. 저 법정 안다 그는 총각이 그러는데, 긴 그런 것만 알을 찾을 수 있다 카데. Damn, now you gotta go do that business card opportunity. 아, 누가 볼면 한국말 다 까먹고, 니랑 뭐 말도 영영 안, 영영 남대 비린기다. She's right. 진짜로 가영이 안 보고 살 자신 있나? You can't. Yeah, I'd have been jumping up immediately. I'd have been calling lawyers and everything. Oh, yeah, but her mom seems really involved. I don't think he would. She would just like allow that. She seems like overbearing in a way. Yeah. 안녕하십니까? 낮에 명함 받은 사람인데요. 게임에 참가를 원하십니까? That seemed like so generic. I thought it was gonna be like that guy. Yeah, he had like a telemarketer vibe or something, right? Yeah. Does seem kind of corporate, huh? Song Gyeong Shi. Ah, yeah. Amon. Password. Bunga Kochi. Pierce me the title. Yeah, I'd be shocked too if I got picked up by Little Red Riding Hood. Game on the cousin and dogs. Oh, sleeping gas. Are they gassing them? I guess he can't know where they're going. Oh, yeah, but you didn't sign up for all that. You just called. You didn't say gas me up. <laughs> you didn't you didn't sign up for that you just called the guy you didn't say do that they could have took his organs that is so oh crazy oh my gosh so people placed them up there oh my god <laughs> there's a lot of red riding hoods that look like playstation controllers or something right Maybe they got kidnapped by Sony. <laughs> Work for me. Oh. You can't punch that face. What what bunk would you want? Bottom? Mm -hmm. For sure. Is it a coincidence that number one is an old guy? Wow. <laughs> oh, he's part of the deadly person. Dang. <laughs> Oh, that was her. Not really. Nobody wanted to help. Act like that'll just get you beat up for the hell of it in America. There's just one square. This is giving me anxiety. This is crazy. They all are in debt, playing the smack game too.
선택의 기회를 드리겠습니다. 이들에게 쫓기며 쓰레기처럼 사시겠습니까? 저희가 드리는 마지막 기회를 잡으시겠습니까? 무슨 게임 합니까? 사전에 공개할 수 없습니다. 에어 나. 아, 저 It's like Survivor. 대충 얼마나 되나요? <웃음> 한 게임이 끝날 때마다 돼지 점통에 상금이 적립될 겁니다. 어제 oh 게임이 끝나고 모두에게 공개하겠습니다. 지금 말씀해 주시길 바랍니다. So the grand prize could be seventeen dollars and thirty five cents. What if there's none? They couldn't at least drop one little stack in there? Yeah, right, like a little ten piece. Just so you would know you're doing it for something. I'm loving the music in this. It's so trippy and ominous. I know the one that sounds like it's played on a recorder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that one's stressful. But someone's gonna be like, it's the ancient wind pipes of, <laughs> you know. Yeah. My bad. Sounds like a recorder. Sorry, can we go back? Because I, I was talking my butt off and I should have read that. So if the majority agrees, oh, it can be terminated? Yeah. And you're not allowed to stop playing? Yeah. And you'll be eliminated if you try to leave or something like that. That was crazy cool, honestly. That is a crazy room. That's like that painting of all the upside down stairs, the twisting stairs or whatever. This is kind of corporate. <laughs> Eddie Munson. <laughs> Geometric face. Well, I wonder what his name is. That form didn't say anything about housing you or sheltering you. Mm -mm. To be honest, he looks tough though, don't he? Is that actually outside? Mm. No, look. that's in a studio. Like on Truman Show. Right. Or on Fallout. Yeah. The fish lady son. This is the front man speaking. You can begin now. He speaks English. Damn, this is a sophisticated thing they got going on. Oh, is that the scotch? <laughs> oh, they are outside. Jo Jo. I feel like I wouldn't be very good at that. Me either. Yeah, so you have to try to make ground on green. <laughs> they shot him? Like for real killed him? Did the doll shoot him? Don't move. Oh. oh my god, oh my god. Oh, you better stay still. You better stay still. Oh my God. That's not fair. That's not fair. It would be hard not to have that reaction. Is this a ploy to take out the gamblers? That was wild, dude. No, only a gambler would be dumb enough to go somewhere where they gas you. You better get up, dude. Wow. Stop, 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 stop. You have to be so serious when you play it. 
그렇게 있으면 어차피 죽어. 동작 감지 장치야. 등 뒤에 숨으면 감지되지 않아. 이별 get up. Oh my god. He only has two minutes. 시간 없어. So he said hide behind someone? She's gonna push him. Now they can sabotage each other. Right, the game just evolved, huh? Man. Out of everything we've ever seen on our channel, that was one of the wildest. Yeah, that was pretty wild. I'll never forget that. That doll was really scary. This is nuts. <laughs> so dark and sinister. They lost so many people already. Number one's loving it. Like he's not won this game before or something. Like he already knew the rules early on. Let me see what spring is like. Nice, nice. That was like 70% of the people. Yeah, it looked like it. Fill my heart, I worship it. Oh, did he just roll his ankle? Oh my god, the K drama. Oh, shout out to that guy. That's 199, baby. <laughs> let's go, let's go. So we like him. Yeah, 199 is one of the coolest mother. Mm. <gasps> they have one second. Ah! No, 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 no. He better make it. Oh, they're good. They're good. They're good. Touchdown. Oh my God, there's so many people still left. Are you kidding? That was crazy. <laughs> and it's camo. Man, you can still see it though. <laughs> it looks like a tennis court. But you can't see it on Google Earth. Oh my gosh, guys. So we might have a new favorite thing going on right now. That's uh that's Squid Games. Wait. Oh, this is all the bodies? Oh, there's someone still alive in there. Oh my god. No. And those were some really scary looking coffins too. They had bows on them and stuff. Episode two. Hell. So did he. Everyone's odds just went up a lot, though. Yeah. You don't think they'll shoot one of them, do you? Oh my god, they might. You just never know with those people. You can't see their facial expressions. This is terrible, <laughs> 이런 짓을 하고도 무서울 것 같아. 경찰들이. 그럼 당신 누구 그 짱이야? 그 짱이야! 동의서 제 2야. 탈락으로 처리된다. 동의서 제 3항. 참가자 과반수가 동의를 하면 게임은 중단된다. That's right. He said I know my rights. He didn't think they read that one. 맞습니다. 투표를 하게 해주시죠. 그만 두고 싶은 사람이 더 많으면 여기서 우리를 내보내 주는 겁니다. 여러분의 뜻에 따라 게임의 중단 여부를 투표하겠습니다. Dang, I thought he would be like. Well, obviously they're gonna vote to stay. 첫 번째 게임에서 정립된 공개하겠습니다. Oh shoot. 
It has to be a lot if they if he's gonna make him try to stay. I'm so sorry. I just vote to leave still. Right, because those games might seem easy, but they seem kind of hard too. I don't know why. There's still so much room in there. Would you stay or go? Hell no, I wouldn't stay. But then again, I'm not, you know, I'm not so in debt that my kids' kids won't be able to buy something. Right. At least they seem fair so far. Who? The people, they seem fair. I mean, even though they didn't tell you how excruciating the... <laughs> Do they seem fair? <laughs> yeah, they said, okay, you're right. We vote. They could be rigging it. I think they got put to sleep and got taken to North Korea. Oh, Harry Potter looking ass. <laughs> Dang, it's a closey. Man, there just ain't no way. You know he's gonna say leave. Yeah, go home, buddy. You're the one who told us about the rule of three. Brother! He's a wild card. Okay, I do just want to say, I just put it together. I'm so sorry I missed it, but it's not a grand prize. It's if you can make it all the way through the challenges, they split the money on the winner. So I'm sitting there thinking I would leave automatically just because the odds of you winning are just so low. Like it's one in however many people. But right, but you don't know what kind of one, games it is either, though. Right. It what if they like, get harder? What if it's like, hey, if you can dodge all the bullets, you win. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, what if it's hard? Entry. What if it's like, eat this knife and you can win? Yeah. I see why people would want to stay because all you got to do is complete the challenge, not beat everyone. <laughs> Stressful. If they get trapped in there, I'd be ready to go to war with those people. Voting to keep my ass in that shooting pen. Away. Oh. And he's so happy to be there. What's he gonna do? <laughs> What's he gonna do? <laughs> We're eating a corn. I was chewing my nails. <laughs> this might be his last little adventure. I don't think I'll be mad at him though. I can't. He's an old man. <laughs> Episode two. People were sitting there protesting angry because they were allowed to leave. Oh, no. I'm so twisted. Oh, damn. I'm here. Is that pickpocketer? Oh, he's gonna drop out and think they're really kinky. <laughs> Do a little role play action, I see. I go way too far. <laughs> Y'all risking registration. Oh, I thought she was gonna do something crazy. <laughs> he sucks so bad. <laughs> he can't be trusted. I don't know if I'd trust these people though, because they're like the low of the low in a way. Like they owe some people a lot of money. You're not a bad reason. person for being in debt, but you're just a bad person if you continuously make bad decisions to get that in debt, I guess. Well, I think it's if you continuously let that guy slap you for money. <laughs> you're kind of like a prostitute at that point, aren't you? Or you kind of have like just a different mentality. Yeah. Your loans are. 감사합니다. 
헬로? 사장님 감사합니다 저기요 차비는 있어요? 네? 집에 갈돈 있냐고요 걸어가요 기다렸다가 버스 타고 가요 no, 안 돼요 nice. 나돈 없어요 돈못 갚아요 예, yeah, 그래서 이거 잘안할 테니까 yes. 그냥 가지고 가요 Hopefully he actually uses it and doesn't go horse race gamble. 감사합니다. 감사합니다, 사장님. 감사합니다. <laughs> yeah. Is he extra with them? I think it's because he's... I don't know. 저 선생님, 이상한 사람들이 사람들 수백 명을 총으로 막 쏴죽였다. 그거죠? 예, 그냥 막 쏴죽였다니까요. 그 게임이 뭐라고요? 무궁화 꽃이 피었습니다요. 그 애들이 하는 무궁화 꽃이 피었습니다. 예. 그리고 총으로 막 쏴죽였고요. 아, 몇 번이나 말합니까? 아저씨. 그래서 거기가 어디예요? 그건 제가 마취를 당하고 끌려가가지고 인지 모른다니까요. 그럼 그걸 시킨 사람들은요? 걔네들은 다 마스크를 써가지고 가면 그럼 아저씨는 거기서 어떻게 나왔어요? 게임을 하던 사람들끼리 투표를 해가지고 나가고 싶은 사람들이 더 많아. 우리 나가고 싶어요 했더니 그래요 나가세요 라고 했다. 예. 네. <웃음> 거긴 처음에 왜 가신 건데요? 돈을 준다고 해서. 돈이요? 네. 수백억을 준다고 해서. 그런데 스승님은 나가고 it? 싶다. 얼굴도 모르고 성기훈 씨. 저희가 의료기관 쪽에 연락을 해드릴 수도 있는데요. 나 여기 세금 이게 그놈들이 준 명함이니까 여기로 전화해 보면 될거 아니야? 씨. Anytime someone's like pulling strings behind the curtain, they have that much money. I just have to assume that the cops are on their side. Right. Like they're in their pocket, you know. That's because everything we watch is like that. <laughs> yeah. 실례합니다. 누구세요? 게임 같은 거할수 있습니까? 게임이요? 뭐든지 시켜만 주시면은. What the heck? So a lady answers? It was probably still that place though. Yeah. yeah. Like a, that was an unrecognized number maybe? They just covered it up really good. <laughs> he looked at that card. Huh? Oh no. So he's from a rough neighborhood and he got accepted into a good school? Yeah. Probably put him in debt. 60억? 60억? Ah, 그놈들도 모르는 게 있어. 국권에서 다닌다더니 주식을 한 거야? 주식은 그렇게 크지 않고 그런 게 있어. <laughs> 이거 말고 어머니 것까지 다 들어갔어. 집이랑 oh, no. 엄마 가게까지 다. Oh wow. That explains why he voted the way he did. Yeah. 여보세요? 네, 전데요. 예? 당뇨입니다. 증이 심했을 텐데 모르셨어요? He didn't even realize. 이 수술로 발을 절단해들 수도 있습니다. 엄마. Poor lady. 아, 엄마 어디 가? 이번 안 하잖아. 하게 하나. 아저라고막맨날 아, 지금 고시원에 가는 중이에요. 별일 없을 거예요. 형 가끔 그러잖아요. 그래도 연락 안 되면 직접 실종 신고할게요. 아, 저 대한민국 경찰이에요. Oh, he's a police officer. 제가 찾을게요. 걱정하지 마세요. 형이 안 들어온 지 정확히 얼마나 됐죠? Well, it does say young officer. 내가 매일 체크하는 게 아니라. I'm not reading this. 고시원 비는 날짜가 일주일 전이었거든요. You're not. I'm just joking. 그때부터는 매일 왔어요. I see you never again. 고시원 비는. 제가 보고 나서 고시원 비는 따로 드릴게요. 시가 보세요 그럼. <laughs> They're all about some money in these shows right here. No, I think she wanted to sleep with him. Did she not? No, I thought she wanted she's, one to pay. She's saying money. I'm down the hall. That means come say what's up. Oh, if that's what you got from that. <laughs> I don't know. Let us know in the comments. I could be completely off. I think she just needed someone to pay the rent because look, the goldfish are dead. 죽이게요? 그냥 미친 놈이야. 오늘따라 정신없이 죽여서 아주. I like how it gives you the flashback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you put two and two together just then. Why? 나 아이스크림 먹고 싶다며. 너 계속 그렇게 말안 하면 누나 그냥 간다. 엄마 금방 데리고 온다며. 나 같이 살 거라며. He's in like foster here. 애들이 나 어디 뿌리래? 누나가 나 여기다 버린 거래. 아이다. 엄마 아버지 꼭 오실 거다. 누나가 꼭 그렇게 만들 거야. 내 연애는 누나 알지? 누나 약속하면 꼭 지키는 거. It's a really cool playground though. 
누가 꽃이 피었습니다. 황 형사가 그 미친놈 이름은 왜? 아, 그, 그 생각해보니까 예전에 알던 사람 같아서요. 치, 그럼 뭐더라? 쌍문동 사... 성기훈이요. 쌍문동 사는 성기훈. 저그 사람 주소 좀 따주실 수 있어요? 아, 네. 오랜만이다. 왜 전화 안 받아요? 어, 전화했어? 몰랐네. 네, 네. 사장님. 밀린 월급 주세요. 근데 병원에 못 가. 돈이 없어서. 사장님 돈 <웃음> 준다고 했잖아요. 제발요. 돈 주세요. 육달도 더 지났잖아요. 미스네 보인 게임. 아니요. 얘기하자. 내가 좀 바쁘다. 사장님 돈 주세요. 아니 이게 개새끼야. 확. 영각이 봐. 이거 씨발 새끼가. 어. 영각이 지하. 아, 와, 와, 와! Holy! Take the money. <laughs> I mean, you're about to, I mean, you're you're about to lose it all in a lawsuit, maybe. You gotta go. I hope you can play that game with his other hand. 내 아주 잘 알기만 소주. 맘 먹고 튄 브로커들을 찾을 방법이 없디. 그럼 다른 방법은 없는 건가요? 다시 다른 브로커를 고용해야 돼. 니도 알겠지만. 얼마인데요? 사천 이상은 있어요. 4천. 중국으로 비용만 그렇고 남조선으로 대박! 오 마이. 전번에 돈이 말만 믿고 돈을 보냈어. 내 목숨 걸고 구한 돈이었어. 나도 몰랐다. 그 새끼들이 돈만 받고 나를 줄은 진짜 몰랐다. 맹세. 돈 어. 구해온다. 한 번도 나 속이면 다음엔 무조건 이목 붙었다 할 거야. 알았니? 야이. <웃음> They're all about that money in this show. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> he hit you with the cut pocket. Go to the house. I'm going to 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 go to the house. That holds a lot of weight, huh? I guess so. How old are you? Can I get a new house? Your eyes are too high. Do you want to be my mother? I'm a son of our mother. Where are you from? I'm going to go to the United States. I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer. I think there's a chance to get a chance. Let me tell you about the police officer. If you keep going, you'll be able to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance. Man, that crushed her. I know. Right in front of that lady, too. As she was just speaking so highly of him. Man, they're all gonna go back. They have to. They have to. <laughs> These situations are tough. I want an answer, like, no. Yeah, it's either a psycho killer or like a seven year old. Or a triangle face. The majority has to want to go, right? Yeah, that's what it said. You can tell he's made it a long way off his little baby face. His like little droopy, sad look. <laughs> Are the women that blunt in South Korea? I guess so. Hey, these guys need it over there, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ones they're showing need it. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, young Gamner. 456번. Oh, yeah. Masmida. Chaneva, Yoginun. Oh, Joe, you don't let's go to you. Ah, you could say, Hangang Ogatega, so. Young Gamner will use it up in there. I don't know, that weirds me out. Right. I think it's sweet that he wants to talk to him, though. Oh. Damn, he's a good time, ain't he?
And they're just eating it like chips, not even like. I used to eat it. my ramen like that. Really? Yeah, the beef one. I oh. pour the powder and crunch it up and eat it. I didn't know that was an option, honestly. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> we should name him Yolo. I don't know. I'd be enjoying myself if I was sitting right there in the rain. Not if you're broke, though. Man, I was broke my whole entire 20s. <laughs> oh. His only chance is to get back to the game. <laughs> Dang. Okay, he's cold. But what about those brothers? Hey! Welcome to Korea! Why can't you see? Don't jump. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love that picture. How much? 200. 200,000? Do you think you're really too much? Do you think you're really too much? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are you going? I'm going to get to the hospital. There's no money. Our lives are too bad. It's hard for everyone there. Let's go. No, I think they needed to move to the US. Our mom was good for you. If I was sick, I would come to you. I'll come to you. It's crazy how they can take such a perfect family picture. Damn, that was uncomfortable. I know. She's gonna chase him out. He just kind of like that. Just let us move to America. He's paying him off. Dang. I'm not crazy. Your hair is just sticking out. Deserve. I mean, he kind of deserved it, but, you know, he's already in debt. He shouldn't be punching rich people. <laughs> Just not a good strategy, I guess. I know, and the daughter had to see it. She said, damn, my stepdaddy's soft as hell. <laughs> he got hooked. Yeah, do the right thing, dude. Oh no. Man, they're more persistent than one of them damn roofing companies. I would like plug my nose. I would put like nose plugs in. I'm sure we're getting the car. You gotta take them out. I'm just damn shocked. We're going back. Well, it wouldn't be like a whole series if they were not like back. Yeah. Oh. Hot box in the car. <laughs> I was about to say, it was like Snoop Dogg's running the thing. <laughs> He's 
Christ, the Neo Double J. <laughs> He's like, ooh, breaking case. Let's go. I'd be thinking they stole a damn bio boom or something. You know what that is? No. Pokemon. They, they'll get it. That's not for you. That's for them. Yes. Damn, it's over already. So she's going to find the location. Uh, babe, on a scale from one to ten, what did you rate this? Hmm. Uh, ten? Yeah, this was a ten. Was I'm it hooked, not? but I just need to know more. That's why I can't really like consider like rating right now. I just need to know a lot more. Basically, for an opening episode or two, this was phenomenal. This had me hooked. Um, I feel so invested in the character. I started out thinking this guy was an absolute moron obviously and he kind of frustrated me and got on my nerves mainly because of the childish like temperament that he showed with his mom i didn't like that at all and i didn't relate to that but he really grew on me you really yeah. learn to just empathize with him and ultimately it doesn't matter how terrible he is because he does have a little girl and on some level you just you know you have to root for the guy because you're rooting for that family no so. he has an arc like he's gonna have an arc Oh yeah, that's he's just be what you goat. have to understand about him. So you're and gonna be like man about him, but then you're gonna love him at the end. That's... I like to be a little tough early. I like, to, <laughs> I like to be tough early and then just soften up as the series goes. Damn, that was good. I, I feel like what's scary is that was so perfect. That was just such a perfect two episodes. That how could this get better? Right. Like I have so much anticipation, and there's there's just so much mystery, and anything could happen in the show. And I really hope the direction it goes is just crazy because. That was wild. Right. Do you, do you think that it's going to be 456 like more people because or is it going to be the same 200? You know, it said that if the majority of the players choose to come back, we can resume the game. So resume. So Did it would, say resume or restart? I think it said resume. So does that mean they start out with that money? I mean, I'd be like, hell yeah, we'll, we we'll have to find money. out. We'll have to find out. It was an undisclosed amount. Maybe this time they could come back and it could be for a lot less. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I'm sure I'm sure going into the next episode, it's going to discuss the rules a little bit more. It seems like the show is going to be really all about the details of the rules right. and how they choose to like. Because because that cop, he's like following. So it's like if he gets there, could he get caught up in the games? Because they'll be like, oh, let's just add this. this oh, buddy. you got to play now. You're here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Like if they see a cop coming, they might just execute the guy. I mean, you yeah. Know, I mean how deep does it go? You know what I mean? Um, and who is that? You know, the guy who's walking around the room all mysterious with the, um, you know, the liquor and watching everyone die. He always kind of gave me like a white dude. Vibe. You know who he looked like to me? Like without like looking, it looked like it could have been the guy who plays Zemo. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. The, I was like ready to see that face and it just wouldn't show us. Yeah. I don't know who that guy is. But uh, yeah. And he was speaking English. So. Right. And and the people who was singing and stuff was English. So he kind of came across like a. Like, I don't know, bro. I thought I was looking at the back of Leonardo DiCaprio or something because oh. he had that hair. Or that, or that guy that's the and the Sopranos. You know, I haven't because seen he that. likes Italian music. Th this is completely off subject, but just for just for our uh, community, man, our family over here. So Mrs. October's family grew up on Sopranos. Well, you, I never watched it, but I always know like like you didn't the, like to see all the sex scenes with your dad. Well, well, I didn't watch it, it, but I would just I would just like walk by and hear the main song playing, and I knew it was time for me to go in my room. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, man, my parents, you know, they didn't watch any of that. So um, I'm really excited to watch that show also. But anyways, pivoting back to Squid Games, maybe the Calamari Games. <laughs> uh, I just I don't really know what to say about it. I mean, I thought that the little girl was just cute as a button. I don't understand how you could have a daughter like that. Watch her grow up. Watch her be raised by someone else. And not on some level, just this mentally mature. You know, like I understand you can't just wake up and be out of debt one day, but on some level, we can stop throwing tantrums. It's just hard to think that you could go that long and just be so ungrateful, like when his mom gave him money and stuff. Mm. But yeah, his character arc's about to be awesome because he really does have the bones to be such an awesome character. I feel like I right. really like the guy, the actor. And something else with that guy that I'm noticing is his mannerisms. <laughs> he just has very like childish mannerisms too. He's eccentric. Yes, he's yeah. very eccentric. So even though we don't really understand the language, we still pick up on his immaturity without. Even the way he uses his eyes and his cheekbones to try to manipulate every conversation, he just like gives you the puppy dog face yeah. like a little kid would do. So yeah, I thought that part was really interesting. Also, I didn't really see any like I didn't see too much stuff in like the background. Like I was trying to see like maybe in the background of the cities, is there any like propaganda put up there? Is there any like signs? Is there any like clues as to what's going on? I probably missed them. I, I didn't. What really I see did anything. notice with this though is, 
like there's a symbolism for example she was like cutting the squids up and then like the people bust in right but then also i noticed in this and most things that we watch lately they'll they throw clues at us but they never give us like where the clues came from and this one they immediately give it to you right well yeah that is true and then another clue is when they was telling us early in the episode about how the shape of the basically the pitch was a squid mm -hmm. so everything's related to a squid so i mean i was going to beg the question why is it called squid games but it can't be as simple as because maybe that's what they maybe that's kid. i was thinking because like after i saw that that would be the final game to play in the end maybe because maybe they have to kill each other like the last I like yeah survive. it's like a serious game of that or something wow that's what i thought i don't wow. know you know what it reminded me of uh damn i don't remember what it's called you guys let me know in the comment section but you know in wwe when they put the briefcase up and everybody's gonna be like Rah. no i don't know about <laughs> so what they do is they take the ring i don't remember i don't know what it is man i thought it was like fear factor with joe rogan <laughs> no i was a wwe <laughs> yeah and helicopters <laughs> i was uh i liked the wwe for about two years in middle school and um but anyways they would have the damn the briefcase tied up like 25 feet in the air or something crazy like that and you have to fight for it yeah you got to fight climb but a isn't it staged the wwe yeah i mean it's choreographed so they it's already a, pick who wins they can pick who wins before they pick who happens. wins it's choreographed but the thing is baby don't bark up that tree they will absolutely shit on you in the comments boy okay so, sorry guys no, no, no. i don't watch the it the wwe is a tough guy sport basically oh. if you're willing to get hit in your head with a chair you know like they they said that uh what movie was we watching oh stuntman mike stuntman mike oh death proof yeah and death proof they were saying like if an idiot is dumb enough to throw himself down a flight of steps there's someone who'll pay him for it yeah that's how the wwe is yeah, they look yeah, for yeah. the craziest wildest dudes who aren't athletic enough to play pro football and they just they whoop the hell out of each other man it's a stunt competition <laughs> and that's really all it is when i was a kid i didn't realize that i thought it was all about the drama and the you know the last second one two three ding 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 um and well, as a young lady growing up i always heard that it was just a rigged stage thing that so i never watched it that's I mean, just yeah, the truth it's rigged in the sense every time they get hit in the forehead it doesn't bust open blood but <laughs> what you don't see is they got a razor tuck and they cut the forehead <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's a pretty brutal sport i don't even know what i'm saying man i'm just on about the squid the great squid of the sea i just think this 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 show's freaking phenomenal man i cannot wait to watch more i just don't think there's been a show that's just captivated my imagination and just right. made me really just it was like sparking know. because I needed to know, like, how are they going to live those six days? Mostly, I want to know how they're going to eat. I didn't you know, see a toilet. I didn't see no toilets. Their bed situation. There's like five per bunk. Uh-uh. And like I was interrupting the video to say, they said that all you got to do is make it through all the levels. But There's one of six. the levels, yeah, but like I like the idea that you had. Maybe the last level was a squid and it's like last to survive. Last man standing. Right. Like, freaking Fortnite or something so like maybe you know how there was like six at the end you know that in that game there's like three and three the offense and defense yeah i don't know maybe you have to like maybe you have to play it till you die and maybe some one person lives or something or one team something i thought was really interesting in the movie though or in the show was how everyone's motivation to go was basically the same it was all finance but they were really different they did a really good job yeah. getting different motivations and then the old man the old man was just looking for a thrill dude so yeah uh i thought that was pretty nuts like there's a lot of things you can do like you could go like bungee jumping skinny dipping nascar racing whatever the hell you or want or you can go on the tarantino movie death proof just and do that man. weird do that weird like maneuver on front of the car <laughs> <laughs> yeah well you could do that or you could go to the squid games which that's what double zero one has shows when i saw that junk on death proof man when that girl got on the hood it was like being a kid and hearing someone say like some crazy ass words for the first time. I just, my poor little eyes was not ready for that. Um, I don't know. I keep picturing you on the front of a car doing that now though. Just why would I do that? <laughs> That'd be hot. Get you on the front of the car out there. Ride you around the neighborhood. <laughs> That'd be sexy. Baby. No, that would be like some like scary horror stuff in my opinion. You guys are probably like, what the hell is death proof? It's just the reason we're bringing it up, man, is because when you're in the realm of just absolutely what in the hell did I just watch? There's only That's so many pretty things. You can... Well, it's not similar, but you know, it was almost similar in the way that I'm about to just, when this camera gets off, the first thing I'm gonna look at her and say is what in the hell did we just watch? And that's how I feel about the show. And I think ultimately that's what you guys probably felt the same, 
the same time or this the first time you watched the show and that's why you're tuning in to watch us watch it because that was just nuts man damn that was a good show and we have to slap it guy the slap in the face guy he has to be under one of them circles right or something what do you mean like um, he has to be part of it somehow. I don't think he's. I don't think he's hands on like that. He's a recruiter. Think, he's the recruiter. Yeah, he's the recruiter who spends all day getting really good at that game. Right. He's like, y'all saw me on Train to Busan. Let's play this little flip game. I think a lot of what it was is he not only wanted to like. Well, first of all, let me just say it's extremely sinister. How, in a sense, he's just walking up. It's kind of like walking up to homeless people and be like, "Hey, man, I know you need a thousand dollars because you don't have anything to eat." You just let me slap you as yeah, hard can as I, I can, slap then I'll give you a thousand dollars. That's just like a terrible thing. I don't even think the concepts ever even dawned in my head that people do stuff like that. But that was sinister to begin with. And then the second thing I was going to mention was that guy obviously didn't want to just win the game. Like he beat that guy and slapped him like thirteen times. So it wasn't just like, oh, I beat you once, you beat me once. It was like, how far can I push you? Yeah. If you're willing to get slapped about. 13 then you're willing times, to come play these crazy. And that doll, though, I didn't even mention how creepy that doll was. There's okay. Can I ask you one more question? What do you, you know, how they were basically saying, okay, you've signed to play the game, but if all these people decide that you're going to vote to leave the game, then we'll honor that. There's some level, there's some level to it to where there's honor in the game. Well, this, listen, this is the thing. Before he went, remember he did that blood oath thing? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was giving up his physical rights. So I feel like every single person had to give that up. Like they had to do that. But why and do you then think, they recruited him? But why do you think they wrote into the rules that if the majority decides to leave, they can leave? Like they could have just said, hey, you signed it, buddy. You're here. That's just how the rules were written. Sorry. Maybe it's because they like the people they pick, they always come back or something. I think the reason may be, and I just thought of it, maybe they're thinking like the game's entertaining for like the game master, whoever the hell that guy was. Uh, unknown white guy number one, but <laughs> <laughs> but maybe the game would be so much better and more entertaining if everyone genuinely wanted to be there. Yeah, Do you get what I'm saying. Like maybe it's like they're actually fighting for it. When whereas they were just terrified in the first round. What if they're monetizing it? What if they're recording it and making it into something to monetize and sell? Or what if he just gets off something? on it? You know what I'm saying? It kind of seemed like he was just like. Creepy. Like when the camera pans over, it's just like. No, I didn't show that part. He was just like listening to those dolls that were like, fly me to the moon. You know that creepy song? I can tell you guys with 100% certainty. I'm a weird ass dude. I'm telling you what, just because <laughs> I am. But I don't do anything that weird. Like when people put on music like that and like do little and, rituals. And, and he stuff, had a high tech hell? thing. He had a high tech like board of elimination honeycombs or, you know, whatever it looked like. I genuinely think one of the weirdest things I do is just put my phone on the back of the toilet when I shower so I can hear it like amphitheaters, the bathroom. <laughs> That's about it. Because I think it's really weird that I can't just like shower without listening to something on YouTube. Like I genuinely find that to be like one of the weirdest things about like myself and one of the most immature things about me because I always have to have something playing on my phone, you know. Um, but at least when you don't get like 20 bucks, you don't horse race gamble it. Like You, you know what I'm like saying? That. Like I would gamble on <laughs> basketball. I'd be like, you know, that guy's seven foot and this guy's five, nine you know it'd be hard to gamble on like something called thunderbolt you know what i'm saying all the horses look the same i'd be like i what? guess that one. i can't even ask you are you gonna win because you'll be like <laughs> oh so Sounds no like a winner to me <laughs> like, i'm a, I'm, I'm putting my money on him because he's eating a carrot before the race <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be i mean if you horse race there's nothing on that like I, i'm just saying it would be hard for me to do that i mean i guess the thing is like do horses have bad days? Like, do they wake up and just they just don't have? Yeah, it today? I, thought, I thought when Nessie has a bad day, you gotta put her down. You know what I mean? I feel like a horse would be able to run the same like top speed every day, at least over <laughs> a period of like three years in its prime. I, I don't know. I feel I feel the same thing with NASCAR. Aren't aren't you all y'all's cars on the same level? I feel you know what? Someone out there right now is just getting so irritated, getting pissed. Just sorry like, about you it. You guys are so stupid. Well, I'm sorry guys. I mean, I grew up around NASCAR. I think I was named after Jeff Gordon's wife. I'll be honest with y'all. I was just never rich enough to race a horse. Okay. <laughs> the only thing I ever raced was my bike. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're just, we're just laughing with the show. We just thought that was funny. Oh, how, we thought the show was. Yeah. We phenomenal. just thought that was funny how when he got quick money, he just went and gambled it <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> well, the show's painting this weird contrast in the character though, because he's a, he's adult. 
But he's a nice guy. But then the question becomes... Because he gave the cat a fish, so he was a nice guy. Well, he gave the cat a fish. Every time he would, like, get a little money, he would, like, break some off for somebody. Yeah, he would give him a nice tip. It's like he wanted yeah. to be a good person. But then it begs the question, like, if you're the world's nicest person and, you know... If you're so nice that you're just everybody you see, you just have to give them everything. But then, but then your family is struggling because you've given all your stuff away. Like, are you actually a nice person? Right, and you're you taking stupid? your mom's money. Yeah, like so. You at the same I mean? time, just, yeah. He he's a great character. Let's say that. I think that he's a grayer uh, a gray character. He's a gray character. I like yes. that. Uh, baby, is there any is there anything else that we need to talk about? No. Nope. When it comes to the great Squid Game, I thought it was great. I think if it came to me. I would not do that. <laughs> I would not. If someone gives me a like card that has random shapes on it, I'm just going to burn it and then move. I promise y'all one thing. I will never think of the game Simon Says or Red Light, Green Light or whatever the hell. I'll never think of it the same. It would have been scarier if they had did Simon Says because they'd be tricking your ass. I mean, I'm, I bet there's going to be games like that. But obviously, I think what makes it cooler is in Korea or South Korea. There's just different games than what we have. Like we have like Red Rover and stuff like you know, stuff like that. What's what's another game we have? Hide and seek. Like they just have <laughs> ones we're not I I never played Red Light Green Light, but I I've heard people have. You ain't never played Red Light Green Light? No, I never played that. What do you do? Turn around? That's why she can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's like <laughs> Uh Red Light you ain't never played Red Light Green Light. No, you, you got red light and then you you gotta stop. Yeah, but do you turn around? Are you like turned around the whole time? The person who's in no, charge? The person who's in charge normally doesn't even turn around. Maybe I just had some lazy friends, but <laughs> usually you just go red light and then you wait and you try to wait until they're like off balance. You're like green light. Or, oh, or you so you try to get them when light. they're like in the middle yeah, of Yeah, you try to like get them. But what, what would have been hard is Simon Says because have you ever seen like a professional Simon Says? Yeah, you'd person? be like, yeah, you you just say, you don't say Simon Says really quick and then you do it. Yeah, I feel like that, uh, yeah, that would have been hard. But I feel like another thing though, the show was very... The show is really trying to continuously say, like, all you have to do is follow the simple directions. So it's almost like Simon Says would have broke the rules. It, maybe each level is going to be like, hey, the directions are simple. Just jump across that. Except jumping across that is extremely difficult. Right. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like on some level they're like messing with them. Yeah. Like it's a psychological thing. Like it's almost like making them all feel like they chose to die or something. It's weird. right. It's I mean, twisted. well, well, yeah. Like I said, there's just so much we haven't seen about it yet. So that's good. It could probably go that way as well. All right, guys, this was a damn good show. So like, comment, subscribe. If you guys had any fun here, uh, I'm Mr. October, uh, Tony, this is Brooke, Mrs. October. Uh, I'm hoping that we get like some new people because we don't really do a lot of K drama stuff, but guys, honestly, I thought Train to Busan was awesome, but in terms of like the K-drama, that definitely moved into number two. This is my new favorite K-drama series of all time. But to be honest, we don't have a lot. So <laughs> let us know in the comment section if there's any other, you know, shows like this. And in the future, we definitely need to put on our polls. And I think one I saw for sure was Parasite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna watch that yeah. one. We'll watch that eventually. But that's a movie, is it not? Maybe. I think that's a movie. I think that movie actually won like a bunch of awards because I remember on Patreon someone said that it was like an award winning show. Like, oh, uh, yeah, it won like a best picture or something like that. So, OK, I don't know, but I'm really excited to see that also. But I also think and something I didn't address. I really think it's fun to just watch movies and series from like a different culture and language, because obviously it's just so different and kind of faces you aren't too familiar with. You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? It's almost like. When the guy would make a joke in here, he would do it in such a Korean way that it was very like foreign to me. And mm -hmm. so it just was entertaining, but like in the best possible way. Yeah. So I really thought that like even like seeing Seoul was just so different because mm -hmm. like we're so used to, oh, it's Queens, it's New York, it's Spider-Man again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And that's great. And we love Spider-Man. We do. He's great. He'd be slinging web, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just cool to see something that's just so different. It's refreshing. What, I'll say that. I mean, we from Georgia, so, you know, we don't see nothing but pine trees and red dirt. Atlanta. And y'all would think peaches, but honestly, we don't see too many of those. Hell no. I ain't seen a peach tree in like 10 years. All right, they guys. are delicious, though. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back really soon with some more. Uh, squid Games. Squid Games, baby. Squid games, yeah. with the squid, the squiddly squid, squid. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.